artist, Tatiana Nivina, has traveled the world to study harpsichord decoration. She finds particular inspiration from nature in the motifs of 18th century French soundboard artists. Well, French in general, just there's a lot more freedom. And there is this scene, which is always fun. And I think I made it more elaborate than any existing antique French harpsichord. Historical style references are second nature to Tatiana after 25 years as a soundboard artist. Poring over her collection of books and photographs, Tatiana begins her composition directly on the prepared soundboard, improvising the borders and flowers as she goes. Every detail is supposed to carry some symbolic significance. That's where it all started, but then, you know, you just play with it and you make it beautiful. A soundboard like this one, a Zuckerman Stella model French double, will take about seven to ten days to complete. Tatiana knows that her finished board will last for generations to come, and she often thinks of the people that will see her work. You, you want somebody who'll look at that. Every time you look at it, you smile or you know, admire it. Tatiana's soundboard paintings and other examples of her historically based decorative work can be found around the world. An instrument order is a unique design project for a particular client. Tatiana's style with whimsy, botanical brilliance, and adoration of life is unmistakable in each. You know, every artist has its signature style, and um, if anybody look at any of my paintings anywhere, they should be recognizable. For the Stella project, Tatiana took inspiration from the birds and insects she sees in Stonington, Connecticut, home of Zuckerman harpsichords. You know, because it's always some exotic birds or something, and, and chickens and ducks, and well, they're, they're, the chicken's kind of on the buck around, and the main bird is the pheasant on that picture, anyway. Because I mean, they painted whatever flowers they saw in their gardens and whatever birds that they flew around in their backyards. And I see no reason not to paint the birds that I like that fly around here. Plus, this whole old school that you're supposed to copy some existing thing over and over and over again, that's boring. So I'm trying to have fun and like each of them are different and there's always different scene and it's just, it's just more fun. I mean, I'll do a copy if it's necessary, but and a copy in itself could be, you know, interesting challenge. But if you have to do the same soundboard over and over again, it's, you know, there's the, the element of art is almost gone from the process. <laughs>